In this video, we're going to show how to create a dynamic stretch nameplate. Uh, so I've just drawn um, a rectangle which is 30 millimeters wide by 15 millimeters high with uh, two three millimeter holes. I'm going to use Symbol Builder and select our objects. I'm going to define the base point in the center and define this as a panel nameplate. This takes uh, the graphics into the block editor. I'm going to add the P tag one and description one only attributes, and we'll just place those down there. And um, we'll change the style of those in properties. Change those to standard. And I'm going to change standard to aerial so that it looks nice and pretty. Um, I'm then going to go to dynamic block authoring palette, choose linear, and we can add a linear dimension onto here. Um, if I wish, I can obviously change the, the, the name of this. So I'm just going to change that to width. And then I'm going to go to actions and add a stretch. Now I just pick on the um, the existing parameter, um, left click on the, uh, the the point there, and then I can select my graphics that are going to be stretched, and we'll just repeat that for the, the selecting the objects, and then hit enter, and then I can repeat that. So, from the same point, select the objects. Um, but what we don't want is we don't want the stretch when we stretch the um, the grip from this side. We don't want this stretching uh, to the same side. So we want it stretching the opposite. So in other words, both sides increase or decrease. Um, so if I just highlight the uh, second stretch command, I can change the angle offset to 180. In other words, it's going in the opposite direction. Um, and then we can uh, test this block. To make sure we're happy with it. And when we grip, click on the grip, you can see that both sides move out. I'm going to say I'm happy with that, so I'm going to close the test block. And then I'm going to close the block editor. And um, typically I'm going to name this so that I understand what it's going to be used for. So NP for nameplate. And in this instance, this is a 30 by 15. So if I put 30 by, by 15 underscore, I could put dynamic. So I know it's also a dynamic symbol. Base point spine, um, and I'm going to save this out. I won't bother creating an icon image in this instance, but I'm going to just save this out. Now I'm happy with that. Just click on OK. Mm -hmm.